Okay, on this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, pretty much uh, your ECU unit, your engine control unit. Your e yeah, well, that's what it's called, ECU. Well, pretty much, um, w well, one of my subscribers brought it up to my attention, so. Um, he was telling me that you could reset your ECU um, you, um, back to factory settings. So pretty much the way you bought when you bought your car brand new, um, your ECU was like fact, factory reset, like reset to default. Where pretty much when you buy a new car, the the ECU um, tries to learn learn the way you drive and tries to adjust the the computer of the car just to um, to be compatible with the way you drive so pretty much um, he told me how to reset it I tried it out well for me I was having like second thoughts of well, my own oh, I don't know if it works but let's test it and never well, it'll, let's try it out it will never hurt it will never hurt to try so that's what I did and actually I did notice a big difference on my my car after I reset it, my ECU. So, pretty much, um, I was looking into the ECU, um, the engine control unit, what it's all about. And um, pretty much, what people do on the ECU when they get like turbocharged in their engine, when they get uh, turbocharged, they get like cold air intakes or just start uh, messing around with their engine. And what they do, they have to go to their ECU and um, tweak it out so your ECU could start shooting out more um, more fuel through your injectors for it to perform better and this and this. Well, pretty much some people will tweak out the, um, with a computer, with a laptop, they'll, they'll program their ECU to perform a little bit more better. But in this case... We're not going to do that. We're just going to set it back to factory settings. And um, and the way I noticed that it does work. Because um, on my car. Let me see right here. The temperature. The temperature uh, from outside. I never had it. Um, I never had it reset. Well, pretty much I have an aftermarket one, so pretty much um, when my car is trying to read the outside temperature to adjust the engine and the and the fuel ejections and all that, and um, to give it a better a better idle, um, my car tries to read out read the outside temperature, and pretty much I have an aftermarket one, and um, my my. Uh, my outside temperature uh, sensor right here it just shoots it starts blinking and it resets itself because my uh, my computer is trying to read it but for some reason it doesn't because it's an aftermarket one and um, that's how I know because I never had that happen to me before so that's how I know that whatever I did when I reset it my uh, ECU now my car is trying to communicate with me in the way I drive and uh, and, I, and now when I step on the gas, um, I, I get more um, RPMs, more acceleration. That's what I noticed. And uh, I don't know. I know I noticed a little difference. That it runs a little more better. So it depends on you. So if, um, after you're done doing this, just let me know what you think of it. If it actually did work for you or not. And um, and I believe your car has to have a pretty much a, a ECU, uh, and I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty sure all BMWs do have it because um, I don't know. I'll put a I'll put a link in the description what a ECU what it does and all that because the BMW was was the first one to make the ECU multitask on uh, like I don't know. I was reading on the on the on the um, that website that was pretty much um, trying to get information off of what what the hell is a ECU and I found out so um, yeah so let me know if this works for you or not because I thought it wasn't for me but it well it does and this is the first time I ever heard this uh, heard about this 
So what you want to do to reset your um, ECU, um, pretty much what you want to do is pretty much you're going to put your key in your car or in the ignition. You're going to turn the key and remember you're going to keep, remember before, you have to keep your, you're going to, you're going to turn your key forward to the, before turning it on to the on, on before turning on your car and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's the second um, key position so just make sure you have all your lights on right here and then what you want to do on your gas pedal on your gas pedal you're going to want to hold it down for five seconds then when you when you hold it down for five seconds then you're going to then no, hold on I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to do it so, I'm going to hold down my pedal for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then what you want to do is hit your key forward. Don't don't remove it. Then remove your uh, feet from the gas pedal. So after you hit the key forward, remove your feet from the gas pedal. Then this is the hard part. You're going to, to have to wait exactly two minutes. So what you want to do is have a watch with you or something. So wait two minutes. Then after you wait two minutes, turn on your car, drive it on, drive it around for however, for however what long you want to drive it for. But oh yeah, then after the two minutes, you remove your key. You remove your key, but if you remove it um, before the two minutes, um, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. So, after the two minutes, you remove it. Then after after you remove it, you put the key back into the ignition and you turn on your car. So, um, then you drive around. So let me let me say this. Let me repeat this again. So, what you want to do? Turn your key on to the second position before turning on your vehicle, and keep it that way. Step on your gas pedal all the way down, like all the way, all the way down to the floor for five seconds. Turn the key forward. Then release your gas, release the gas pedal without removing the key. Keep the key in the ignition for two minutes. Then after two minutes, remove the key, put the key back in the, in the ignition and turn on your car and drive around. And then let your um, computer, because I guess it will take uh, two minutes for the the ECU to reboot to back to factory settings. And then drive around and let me know what you think. Because um, your car will not indicate anything like, oh, like there won't be no message on there on the, um, well, I'm pretty sure. Well, mine didn't because I don't have that little computer thing that shows messages on my dashboard. But if, if your car does, well... Mm, let me know um it will not indicate anything from from what i see on my car that your car's been reset to factory settings but um the only way to find it now is the way uh, your car performs when you're driving it you might notice the difference but on my car the only way i notice is because my uh my outside temp uh, temperature thermos on uh, my my outside temperature um things keeps on rebooting and rebooting and that never happened before so let me know what you guys think and um yeah i got more videos on my on my channel please subscribe for more future videos and yeah okay so thank you guys for watching again